Welcome to the second episode of the Animeverse. We've got quite a few news to cover, so let's begin, shall we? Let's start it off with a big one. Jujutsu Kaisen Anime Season 2 has been officially announced. It'll be broadcasting on 2023. New illustrations by Akutami Sensei has been released to celebrate the Season 2 announcement. Let us know if you're excited as I am. Moving on, time for the Crunchyroll Anime Award results. Let's get started. Anime of the Year, Attack on Titan Final Season Part 1. Best Boy, Boji from Ranking of the Kings. Best Girl, Nobra Kugasaki from Jujutsu Kaisen. Best Protagonist, Otokaiwa from Odd Taxi. Best Fight Scene, Yuji and Toto vs. Hanami from Jujutsu Kaisen. And you can see the rest of the winners for different categories on your screen right now. Let us know if you enjoyed this year's Anime Awards. Moving on, we finally have some new information on Rising the Shield Hero Anime Season 2. A trailer has been officially revealed. To watch it, please check out the link in the description. But wait, we also have some new key visuals and details on the opening and ending. Opening Bring Back Mad Kid and ending by Chai Kuchikawa. I'm very much looking forward to this. Let us know if you're excited for the Shield Hero Season 2. Moving further, Kingdom Anime Season 4 new trailer is officially out. This season begins Spring 2022 and a link to the new trailer is available in the description. Moving on to the new key visuals section on this episode. First, Detective Conan, The Bride of Halloween, the movie's new key visuals has been released. It's scheduled to be released on April 15th in Japan. Let us know your thoughts on this. Next is Bastard, heavy metal dark fantasy anime, has been announced for 2022 with a new key visual. It will be streamed on Netflix. Trailer is already officially out, linked in the description. The animation production is by Linden Films. Let us know if you're going to be watching it. Third, Summertime Renders new key visuals is also here. This anime is scheduled for April 14th, looking forward to it. Fourth, and my personal favorite, Overlord Anime Season 4 Key Visuals is officially out. This season premieres sometimes this year. No exact release date yet, which is kind of a bummer, but we'll let you know once it's revealed. Fifth, Ayoshi Anime's new visual is here, scheduled for April 9th, and its production will be Production IG. Sixth, Love All Play Anime, scheduled for April 2nd, new visuals are here. Production is by Nippon Animation. Last, but definitely not least, Eden Zero Season 2 has been officially announced with a new key visual. More information will be revealed soon. Let me know if you're excited for this, just like I am. And that's about all for the key visual section. Continuing on to more anime news, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie, premieres in the United Kingdom on March 18th and France on March 16th. Do watch this movie. I'm sure you'll love it, because I'm going to. And while we're on the topic of JJK, there's some info which gamers might like. PUBG Mobile and Jujutsu Kaisen collab is to be released on the 15th of February 2022. Let us know if you're going to be playing it. Moving on, shoot! Gold to the Future anime trailer has been officially revealed. Anime premieres in July this year. A link to the trailer will be in the description. Check out if you're into football. The next piece of anime news. Shikimori Not Just a Cutie anime trailer is officially out. This anime begins on April 9th. A link to the trailer will be in the description. Let's talk about some Attack on Titan and Demon Slayer. The last episode of Attack on Titan, which is the part 2, episode 5, is trending all over social media. We can't go into further details as it would be spoilers, so do watch it if you haven't already. Now talking about some Demon Slayer hot information. Kimitsu no Yaiba Swordsmith Village Arc has been officially announced with a new trader trailer and a key visual. It's visible on your screen right now and check out the link in the description for the trailer. Honestly, I'm very much looking forward to it, and there's more Upper Moon too, Doma. The VA has been revealed. It will be Mamori Miyano, who is the voice actor for Light Yagami from Death Note. Let us know if you're excited for this news just like we are. That's all for Animeverse today, folks. See ya.